Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. This is update 1.20 and with the help of the amazing Balshad, I have knocked together a quick new CFG gameplay.json file that will give you um, infinite sprint, like you can see here being tested on my local PC server. Um, it will give you the ability um, to build anywhere and also the ability, uh, if you're on PC, just hit M and bring up the map and see where you are or if you're on console you need to have the tourist map first put that in your hands and then that will show you where they are um, so I'm going to show you those that those files for Livonia and Chenerous and then um, I'm going to show you we, we'll, we'll have a little bit of discussion about kind of what's changed what kind of what's happened with the CFG gameplay.json that's caused all this hassle so first off if you're interested in the files in the description below this video you'll see a link to my github and this little uh, repository here and there's two files there's chernera cfg gameplay.json and livonia cfg gameplay.json the only difference i think is the temperature um, between chernera and livonia and as i said what these include is i've changed it so that if we scroll down here uh, from um, balshad's um, Discord, uh, there's the sprint uh, modifier stuff, the kind of stamina stuff, and then down here we've got the kind of the building stuff, and at the bottom we've got the map stuff. So all you need to do is upload these. So sorry, sorry, we'll hit the green code button, download the zip, extract it on your local PC, and then upload the CFG gameplay.json Chernerus on top of the uh, CFG gameplay.json in your Chernerus mission. And when it's in the folder, just get rid of the Chernerus bit. So it just says CFG gameplay.json, or you could rename it on your local PC before you upload it, and then restart your server and the changes will take effect. Same with the Livonia one. So download it to your local PC, use code download zip, get rid of the Livonia bit on the front before you upload it onto your um, Enoch uh, mission file, um, or re rename it when it's there, restart your server and those changes will take effect. In the readme, I have included the code snippets as well. So for example, if you just want to include the unlimited sprint stamina, you can just include that. Or if you wanted to just include the base building data, you could just include that as well. And uh, you could also just include the um, map data. Now remember, if you are just using the code snippets, it's advisable that you have a 1.20 CFG gameplay file that you are then editing, okay? And then you're changing these into it. Um, don't use your 119 files and trying to make them right. Um, one of the common mistakes that happens when there is an update to Daisy is that server owners aren't always aware that what you need to do is update to the new files and then change things um, um, and then put your changes into those new files because it's quite difficult to do it the other way so it's quite difficult to take so for example 1.19 files and make them 1.20 compatible um, actually it wasn't that difficult one two because there wasn't that many changes but often you're better off starting with the new files and adding your changes in because then you don't miss out of the new stuff okay so basically that's what you can do and then you will have unlimited sprint stamina um, you still lose stamina if you jump up and down. I think if you hit by a stun grenade or that sort of stuff, um, you'll be able to build anywhere. Um, I haven't really tested that though, so <laughs> you'll have to have a go, and you'll um, be able to access the map now. So what went wrong? Okay, so you can turn the video off, not off you if you're not really interested. So a few things changed with the CFG gameplay.json for for 120. Um, they added in all of these extra settings for controlling sprint stamina. Um, and what happened was the 1.19 settings didn't fail gracefully. Okay, so what I mean by that is sometimes in programming and coding and in many other things, if something breaks, you want to, it to break in a nice way. Um, and what happened was if people were still running their 1.19 CFG gameplay.json files, which lots of people would have been done, would have been doing when the 1.20 file... Um, server exe files got installed on the update day what happened was their players then stopped being able to to uh, sprint <laughs> so they could run around they could jog they could walk but they couldn't sprint which is not very good in a, a zombie game which was obviously really bad it was like oh my god 
And the, the kind of workaround to that, well, not really the workaround, was update to 1.20 CFG gameplay JSON, and then put your modifications in. So that's one of the things that happened. And then the other thing was, and I'm not quite sure why they've done this, it'd be interesting to ask, there must be a reason, is that normally, um, previously, for toggle switches, so turning things on and off in these CFG gameplay JSONs, we use ones and zeros for like true and false. But what they've done is they've now gone to actually using words. So for example, with the map data, it used to be ignore map ownership one or zero, but now it's true or false. So that kind of threw, threw things out as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was a bit difficult. Now, as far as the other problems that are happening, um, yeah, with things like um, duplication on uh, custom object spawner JSONs. Um, apparently, there will be a hot fix coming soon, probably the early part of next week. Uh, until that point, though, you're advised not to use um, custom JSONs that spawn loot. Otherwise, you're going to have thousands of loot spawning in. It's going to crash your server. It's going to crash people's consoles and PCs when they get close to that stuff. So, okay. Hopefully, this has been useful. Again, I'll put the links to all this in the description below the video. Big, big thanks to Balshad. I'll put a link to his um, Discord as well. This is where I got the sample from. Uh, Balshad's Discord is an amazing resource for anybody who's into uh, modding on PC or console. It's just amazing. All the data that he's put together in, in this, this Discord is, is really, really, really cool. Um, when you go to his Discord, though, and you want to find something out, make sure you search for it first. And because you'll probably be able to find it um, and you'll find that's a lot better way of doing it rather than diving into the chat and saying how do I do this <laughs> because you imagine he probably gets dozens of questions a day about how to do the same things when it's all laid out nice and logically um, and it also has a search function as well so anyway that's enough from me hopefully you found this video useful remember this will all get sorted out soon and uh, I will see you again soon